Hey guys, so I got a little bit something more advanced or a thought process today for you um, about something that gets kicked around or thrown around a lot in the gun world, um, in the training world, is actually the term cadence. Cadence, okay? So the first time I think I heard the word cadence was probably from Travis Haley uh, back in the day of him doing the 224-22 drill because uh, it was really badass. He did it super fast and I was like, nobody else does this. Um, and he used the term cadence, right? It's a military term when we talk about doing push-ups, whatever. It basically just means rhythm, right? In cadence means we're doing it in a rhythm. Um, for whatever reason, I don't know if it's a psychological thing or just human beings, the way we work, we like rhythm, right? Uh, we like to listen to music that is in rhythm. When something's in rhythm, we think about it, we can, oh, that's in rhythm. Yeah, yeah. Some people have good rhythm. Some people have bad rhythm. Most people can recognize rhythm though, right? So, um, why is it that in the gun industry, you know, as we see this training term cadence, um, we start to put so much value on it that I think is a little bit, um, uh, it's not what it was intended for okay so um examples of this are you may have seen the drill i have a target here target here target here where people are doing the the transition drill and they're basically going one two three four five six and the whole transition is all in cadence right or they're moving up from cone a to cone b and it's one two three and then they change step one two three and it's all in rhythm or in cadence um and i want to be clear about what cadence is okay um and why it's a good thing right not saying oh let's just throw cadence out it's total bs it doesn't matter um but what is cadence and why do we use it or what is it good for okay so first things first is just understanding um kind of the dynamics behind where this all spawned from so everyone said oh cadence 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 it sounds good well it's a good way to help people start shooting or pressing the trigger faster and that's because they'll stop thinking about pressing the trigger or the target or what's going on and they'll just start doing what's the rhythm in their head so it's one good way to break people of the habit of being like but it's not the only way um, it's also a really good this transition drill is a really good way to get people to realize that you can go fast in between transitions right so if you set three targets up normally they would go boom 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 and they'd be slow right but if you force them to keep an overall rhythm, say, hey, I want you to do that, do, 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 do. They have to be fast in between transitions. So you start to see people be able to naturally go, do, 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 do. And it forces them to keep that rhythm, okay? So it's a really good way of uh, teaching urgency and cadence. But it kind of spawned or started to turn into like, this is the way we want to shoot. And there was no explanation behind it. It was just, hey, do this in cadence. Shoot these transition drills in cadence. And there wasn't a reason behind it. So you started seeing people doing things in cadence and it's like, well, I can miss in cadence. I can miss my shots in rhythm, right? I can sit here and, you know, if I have uh, a target that I'm 25 yards away from, I can sit back here with a good cadence of going do, 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 do in cadence all day. But if my sight picture is not there, I'm missing the target, okay? so. Cadence is just simply rhythm. Um, our bodies like it, and it is a good thing. If we're in rhythm or we're in cadence, lots of times that means things are going uh, the right way. Uh, but cadence is not something we want to strive for. It's simply a byproduct of things happening the right way, okay? And sometimes we have to disturb that cadence. Um, so uh, when, when we start talking about the, the proper way to use cadence, um, it's a good way to show people how to shoot you know, quickly. It's a good way to get people thinking about something else. Um, but really all it means is that things are happening together in uh, kind of an efficient, proper way. Make sense? Um, so when you think about cadence too, here's another thing. When we do this transition drill, is it really realistic, right? If I were to shoot a target, let's say I have a target here, target here, target here, and I pick the cadence of one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Well, no, in reality, what would be efficient would be one, two, one, two, one, two. That's gonna get me a better time across the board. Two shots based on this target being really close and available to me, I need to just take those shots or however many shots I need on it, boom, 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 boom press on, boom, 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 boom. And then if I have something that is a further target away, that might dictate me seeing my sights and taking my time and might change the cadence. Um, so we don't wanna be afraid to interrupt cadence, okay? And a good example of this is, uh, I'll do it here in a second, but I will have a high percentage target, meaning I have an open target here. I'll go for headshots on this middle target and then high percentage there, okay? So if I take the cadence that I would shoot headshots on this target and I apply it to all the targets, I'm wasting a bunch of time on this. So I'll, without further ado, I'll just kind of, I'll show you um, basically what in rhythm would sound like of me going pop, 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 okay? Same sequence, I'll shoot it here in a second.
right? So bop, 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 okay? Um, that was a 3.52 counted extra shot. I don't know what that is, but I went two, 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 two. So it was center A zone, headshot, center A zone, okay? What is the actual more efficient way to shoot this drill would be for me to go, hey, I have a big A zone in front of me, bop, bop. Okay, now small headshot, bop, bop. Now over here to a full A zone, bop, bop, right? That would be the proper way to do it. But I'll be breaking cadence, right? So seven, uh, sorry, three, five, two for that last one. All right, so that's a three, uh, 2.32. So I shaved off all that time and it's like, no, I wasn't in cadence, right? I wasn't perfectly in the cadence that I wanted to be at, but my cadence was dictated off the target I was engaging, okay? So um, you can still use cadence as a good reason for why things are happening, but like, take for example, this target in front of me that was my big A zone, right? I came out, boom, boom, I just dumped it and was done with it because I saw what I needed to see based on my sight picture and I moved on, right? Then when I get to the headshot, you heard the cadence change a little bit more. And that's because I was refining my sight picture. I was taking that scale of a gross sight picture and refining it a little bit more, catching a little bit of dot, making sure I'm doing the right height over bore, bop, watch the dot fall, bop, perfect. And then I transition, I'm off to the races over to this guy here. And again, open A zone, bop, bop, right? So cadence, it's still useful, but it's a byproduct of me doing the right thing, okay? That byproduct is not me just saying, hey, I need to pick a pace and stay with it. That byproduct is me saying, hey, I need to put two rounds on this one and this big open target based on how far I am and how big it is. I only need to see this sight picture. Boom, boom, I see that sight picture, I move on. On this target now, hey, this is a little bit smaller, a little bit more refined, the target's smaller, you know, whatever. I need to see a little bit more. Boom, boom, perfect. And I'm off and I'm done with that one. Then I'm onto this one, okay? So just be clear when we start saying things like cadence or, you know, oh, it needs, your cadence was bad. Um, sometimes cadence is bad. If I come over and I'm shooting a good cadence, but all of a sudden for whatever reason, maybe I step weird and my dot goes flying off to the side, I'm gonna break cadence to make that shot uh, a shot that, that hits, right? Um, cadence is great, but if I'm missing the target, who gives a shit? Um, that's kind of my mentality about it is I can miss in cadence. So yes, it's a good thing. It's a byproduct. It's not so much something that we need to strive for. Okay. Two things it's really good for, those drills when they were initially made, the transition drill of keeping cadence was made to help people push off transitions. Um, it forces you to get off that transition. And it's also a really good way if you have someone that's super focused on trigger work and all that stuff, just hey, just count this cadence out, start slow, go 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. Okay, now bump it up, one, two, three, four. Travis Haley made that really, really big and that is a super helpful way to use cadence to help people create rhythm and smooth things out. Um, but we don't want to take that and translate it into like, hey, if you don't have a sight picture, as long as you're in, ca in cadence, you're good to go. No, check those boxes. Don't rely on luck to get your hits. So anyway, guys, a little bit more advanced, um, but I hope it was good for you.